oh, this is a huge moment. You don't even know. I'm going to tell you the whole story, but I am. I'm like, yeah, disbelief. I can't believe that this is happening now. I'm sitting here. I'm going to do this now. Ooh, okay, tea. I need to calm down. Well, hello, hello. And welcome back to Tea Time with Selena. It's been ages since we did this the last time. I don't even know when we did it last time. It's been uh, a very long time. And I felt like, well, I've been missing you guys. I feel like I want to sit down and just have a chat with you like this. And I have so much to tell you. Oh, Lord Jesus. I have so much to tell you. So, um, yeah, let's dig right into it. We're gonna talk about the fact that I'm not working, or not working, I'm not exclusive with Light Elegance anymore after seven years. I have a launch coming up with my books and my secret item that I've been teasing you with for the past almost like, well, one year at least. I also have released a brand new glitter collection, my first glitter collection. So yeah, make sure to grab some tea or coffee. Make sure that you have a nice cozy blanket or maybe just like a knitted sweater or something and let's uh, yeah, dive into it. <sighs> All right, so the first thing, well, actually, you know what? I wanna, um, I wanna talk to you about something else first. I just wanna get this out of the way, actually. This is maybe not on the fun side, but I feel like it is something that I want to address. I did address it on my Instagram, and I feel like I need to do it here as well because it's, this is kind of, well, it's a platform where it happened. So in my previous video where I was um, talking about the new launch of Light Elegance, I had a comment saying like, Oh, is she pregnant? I'm a nurse. Okay, so number one, just asking if someone is pregnant is bad enough. I know you guys know that you do not do that. Like, it is the forbidden question. You do not ask if someone is pregnant. There are several different reasons for that. You know why, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. Some people are struggling so much to get pregnant. Some people really want to have kids, but they can't. Maybe they're going through IVF. I think IVF, yeah. Just that alone is so struggling and so heartbreaking for so many people. So you don't ask that. Number two, I mean, someone could be gaining weight because something has happened in their life. They have a medical condition. I mean, there's just so much that you don't know what's going on in people's lives. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't have kids uh, at the moment because of the injections that I take for my chronic migraines and these injections that I take every month, um, they are super expensive, but they allow me to live my life. Without them, I wouldn't be able to function at all. It was that bad. I had 20, 25 uh, migraine days per month uh, before I got the shots or the, the injections. They made it go down to like zero up to five. I have had a bad couple of two months now so i've had a little bit more migraines but still without these injections i would not be able seriously to live it's it's like that bad however these injections also make me gain weight this is something that has been super hard for me to accept because as you know i've been a professional dancer and all that and you have a specific type of body when you are a dancer because you are exercising so much just quitting like dancing in itself like 10 years ago I started to see a shift in my body and my face and all that but it wasn't that bad really but I would say the past year definitely something has changed and that is because of these injections and uh, the birth control that I had to switch out as well so I'm using a different brand whatever it messed up my body shape and my face and I I feel puffed and heavy I have st severe like stomach problems and those are a couple of the side effects from these injections and I'm okay with that because I would rather have that than have migraine uh, 20 25 days a month but it has been a struggle for me to accept that I am getting weight I am trying to exercise but you know with me having um, long time or long period long-term COVID 
Uh, I haven't been able to exercise as well for the past few years. I have just recently started, but it's gonna take time. And I personally are working with myself every single day to just accept the fact that I look different and I feel different in my body. Uh, so going on YouTube like this was kind of, well, it was scary because I am very hard on myself. I'm not saying that people with my body type are fat, it's not that. This goes back to me because I used to be a size XS and now I'm like medium large sometimes, but yeah, mostly around my waist because everything is just so bloated. I was a bit scared to go on YouTube again because I was scared that people would judge me for gaining weight and it's unfortunate that that was exactly what happened when I got back on YouTube and showed my face. Uh, and also I have to mention like with this setup and this camera, this lighting, I have a really hard time finding the right angles and everything. Even though I've been doing this for years, I have a hard time finding out where I have the right lighting and everything uh, so that the face doesn't look flat because if you have too much light coming straight onto your face it's like you lose the 3D effect so your face gets flat and you look even more puffy or uh, bigger uh, so it really is like they say you gain whatever pound when you go on camera and it is like that uh, other cameras like when, when I'm filming with my phone or with my vlog camera we have different lighting we have different cameras it is very different it doesn't look as bad like at least in my mind but with this setup and this camera something happens and it's like it just emphasizes everything that I don't want it to emphasize so it just makes everything worse. Uh, when I was editing the previous video, I almost cried because I just hated the way I looked and I'm just just working things out with myself and it's a process. So just having that comment was just very, 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 very unfortunate and not very good timing. So with that said, I just want to address it so that you people don't have you people. Uh, so that people on YouTube or social media don't have to speculate if I'm pregnant or if I'm just fat, joking. But I don't want people to speculate or comment about my weight or my body or my appearance in that sense. If you wanted to tell me that I'm beautiful and cute and whatever, yeah, you can do that, of course. But I just don't want people to be like, oh, you look different with me, me, me. And oh uh, yeah, are you pregnant or are you just eating a lot of cake? It's my body and I am going through things and that is um, my journey and I wanna keep it that way without being commented on it. So that's the first thing I wanted to address. Uh, sorry if this was uh, too downy for you because I have lots of fun things to talk about now. So now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to uh, why I am not exclusive with Let Elkins anymore. All right, so let me start off by saying that this is not one of those like mom and dad is getting separated situations because it's not like that. We are still working together. I would say probably more than ever. We have so many fun projects coming up, both when it comes to content, products. I'm not going to tell you too much, but things are coming and it is fantastic. I'm so excited. Another thing that I also want to mention, you know, I love Light Elegance, the product and the family to bits. They are my American family, you know that. And I'm so grateful for everything that we have done for the past seven years. It's so crazy to say that, you know, I've been with them for seven years already. Without them, I would not have been here today. And I just love them so, so, so much. So if you're watching, love you so much. The reason uh, why I'm not exclusive anymore is because, you know, life's changing, things are happening, and with the things that are happening now, right now in my life, I need to be non-exclusive. So we were uh, rearranging the contract that I have with them. We have not changed it since like 2016. It's been, it's, it's been ages since we've done anything about it. So it's really, really outdated and we just needed to work on some new fun ways of creating content. We're gonna focus more on like short video formats. Uh, we wanted to change or switch up like the concept of the videos here on YouTube. If you watched the latest video, you know that it was a little bit different. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, I want to know. So, uh, or if you didn't like it, I want to know that as well. So 
please let me know so that, that we can kind of adjust it so that, well, I make videos for you. So uh, let me know what you thought about it. With that, uh, we decided that it would be best to uh, just skip the exclusivity. I hate that word, it's so hard to say because I have so many things going on and I need to grow and it's hard for me to grow when I am um, kind of closed up like that. It's awesome to be exclusive with a company. I just have to say that it is fantastic because you have that it's safety and support that you don't have if you are non-exclusive. But for me and where I'm at in my life right now with all the products that I'm that's going on, it's best for me to be non-exclusive. So it was a mutual decision and we're very happy with it, um, both Ellie and I. So as I said, I'm not, I'm not not working with them. I am very much working with them. And I'm still, I consider myself to be part of the Ellie family, of course, I'm always gonna be that. And uh, we have so many fun things happening in the future. So um, this is not the end. This is just the beginning of something more exciting, fun, so yay. I wanted to give you kind of a heads up. So if you see that, I start posting videos with other brands and maybe do some reviews, whatnot. Then you know that, you know, nothing happened. We're not arguing or we're not, I don't know, uh, enemies <laughs> or something like that. Uh, it's just that, uh, yeah, everything that I just said. You got it. If you have any specific brand that you would like me to collaborate with, also let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I already have a couple of very interesting uh, projects uh, pr projects coming up with uh, different brands and collaborations so that's gonna be super exciting I'm really really excited to uh, try out some new products and new brands and kind of see what's out there you know moving on to lots of products and fun things and launches and oh my god uh, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the, all the things that I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna move through each and every one of them first off we have a glitter collection so this is the whoops now I'm getting glitter in my tea not mad about that but yeah maybe not that good this is the chameleon glitter collection uh, from moon flare it is my first ever glitter collection we're gonna take a look at this and really see what's going on here i'm gonna show you some amazing amazing uh video footage that we did oh my god you're gonna drool so stick around for that you don't want to miss that the next product that i am going to show you is the mail planner can you believe that this is finally here well can you believe i mean i i don't know if you remember that i started teasing about this for like i mean it's like a year ago and before that i've been working on it for a year before that i can't believe that i'm finally holding this in my hand so we're gonna go through this i'm gonna flip through the pages i'm gonna show you uh, and tell you the story behind everything and mm, so yeah stick around for that and then we have the nail design book and this is the second product in this uh kind of collection of the signature products by me and we're gonna flip through this as well. So I'm gonna show you everything inside, how it works and all of that jazz. And finally, do you remember the secret item that I have been teasing you with for so long? It is finally here. The nail cards. Mm -mm. So of course, we're gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna show you the cards. I'm gonna tell you how it works and why you need this in your life. So that is what we have planned for the rest of this video. So how about we start with some glitter? First, more tea. I really do have glitter in my tea now. Not mad about it, but maybe not the best. So let's go. So I just noticed that I have glitter on my face as well. So excuse me if it's been there forever. I don't know how long it's been there. Anyways, here you have this amazing, 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 amazing collection. My favorite glitters are chunky glitters. And of course, I had to create a collection with chunky glitters. And these are not just chunky glitters, but they are chameleon chunky glitters, which means that, okay, so it's a mix of uh, fine glitter and uh, large chunkier glitters. 
and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shades of this amazing, amazing chameleon glitter. If you know in general, like chameleon is when you are looking at it from one angle and then when you turn around, like if you twist it and look at it from a different angle, you will get a different shade. So you have like a primary color and then a secondary color and then like lots of different colors in between. Uh, for each of these glitters. They're absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna show you some um, footage or like video stuff that we uh, took uh, with this uh, somewhere around here so you can drool with me. I love the names by the way. Me and Tesso, we have named these together. It's our babies. So let's go over them. So first up we have Phoenix and this is a really cool like uh, red with lots of orange in it you have other colors like yellow stuff like that but it's like the main color of this this is like the red chameleon glitter it looks like crushed leaves or fire it is absolutely fantastic love this to bits next up we have candy skies and this is so funny because um both me and tesso kind of had the same reaction it wasn't our favorite of the bunch, like when we got it, we loved it, but it wasn't like our favorite. But now it is growing on you so much that we're like, this is probably our favorite right now. One of the favorites, it's so hard to choose. They're amazing, all of them, they're so amazing. It really is a candy sky. You have like cotton candy, you have uh, those like lavender pinks or lavender purples and soft pinks. I would say like the main colors are like cotton candy, pink and purple with lots of other cool shades in it as well. Then we have Anaconda and this one is also so amazing. So this really reminds you of like, well, a snake, an anaconda. Uh, you have greens and orange and yellows, but it mostly like green, orange, yellow. It's exactly what I just said. Uh, Whatever. When you look at it like straight on, you have lots of orange and yellow. And then when you look at it from the side, it's a green. It's just green. So this one is super cool. It really, really shifts very, very drastically. Anyways, we have Northern Lights. This glitter is so funny because when we looked at it, when we got it, we get it in bulk. And then my mom, my sweet dear mom, she sits and portions everything herself into our beautiful, beautiful containers. I'm gonna show you a picture here. It's our little logo on it with the little moons. I love them so much. They're like the cutest ever. She has touched and portioned each and every single one of these uh, glitters. Uh, so they are really constructed with lots of mommy love. This one is fantastic. When we looked at it, it was just green. And we're like, is this really a chameleon or what is going on? Like this should have been something else. <sighs> this one is fantastic. Like it's, it's green. When you look at it, you have this clear emerald green but from the side it is completely blue and that's why we uh, decided to name it northern lights because it really looks like you a classic northern lights the ones that you see on pictures all the time so this is our northern lights shade so beautiful so amazing here we have mermaid's tail i know that i am repeating myself this one is so amazing and this one is stunning but they are they're amazing they're stunning you want to eat them you, like in my previous video you want to bathe your face in it you want to put it all over your hair and your body and you want to pour a bath and just dive into it. That's how much I love them. This mermaid's tail, it is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you have lots of turquoise, like different shades of turquoise. So you have turquoise, blues and greens. And when you look at it from the sides, you have or the side, you have a darker blue, almost like with a little bit of a purple undertone. And then when you look at it from straight on, it's like a beautiful turquoise, uh, really like a deep, deep um, ocean Greek sea. Next up, we have Twilight. This one, guess what? It is stunning. This is gonna be so hard to explain because we have turquoise but with a cooler, I don't know, no, not cooler tone. It is more like um, jade, jade green, but with more blue. And from the side, it is purple. 
So you have that jade green and like purple super nice this depends on like how old you are uh either you're gonna think of um twilight uh, the series that was like back in the what is 70s 80s uh twilight zone or you're gonna think of uh bella and the vampires twilight either way I think the name fits. It looks like a Twilight. I don't know what it is, but this is Twilight. And then we have Purple Rain. This was pretty obvious because we have purples. We have also a little bit of blues, turquoise, but the main color here is this beautiful, beautiful uh, purple. And guess what? It's Tesla's favorite. And for the last one, we have Flamingo. And of course, because it is pink, we have lots of different shades of pink. Actually, when you look at it straight on, you have this uh, hot pink. And I would say from the side, it's more of like a coral. So you have pink and coral in this. This is a little bit more subtle uh, with the chameleon effect but it definitely is a chameleon. So I would say hot pink and then coral. Uh, of course, it is flamingo. You can, I mean, just look at it. It's flamingo. So those are all the glitters uh, that I have for my first ever glitter collection. And I love it so much. I am so happy with them. I just want to have them on my nails all the time. Uh, we sell these as a collection, but we do sell them sing uh, singles as well. But if you get the collection, then you get like one for free. So you only pay for like seven instead of eight. So that is really neat. I would love to hear what you think in the comments. So uh, let me know, especially like which ones, if you have like a favorite, I want to know your favorite. So if you have one or more, let me know in the comments. I'm so curious to know what you think. I'm just so excited to see what everyone's gonna do with this. It's such an amazing, amazing, amazing collection. Okay, so before moving on to my babies, my other babies, let's have... Uh, I'm just gonna pull this up. Uh, let's have a sip of tea and uh, prepare. Oh, this is a huge moment. You don't even know. I'm gonna tell you the whole story, but I am... I'm like, yeah, disbelief. I can't believe that this is happening now. I'm sitting here. I'm gonna do this now. Ooh, okay, tea. I need to calm down. We have these three products. And before I show you, I want to tell you the story behind this. It was back in the beginning of 2020. It was right before the pandemic started and I was going through some stuff. I was leaving a very, very, very toxic person out of my life. It's a person that changed me so much to the point where I didn't recognize myself anymore. And I just had enough and I broke loose from that person. It is not Christian. It's not one of my like love relationships. So it's not Christian. Around that time, I got back to my spirituality and everything that makes me me for those of you who have both been following me you know that spirituality stuff crystals tarot meditation yoga all that it's been such a huge part of my life and you also know that i am a little bit uh, i'm not gonna say psycho but psychic so you know that i have uh, been taking medium classes and that you know i see dead people and all that if you haven't seen that video you can go back and watch it it is a couple of years old but anyways this person made me forget not forget but kind of get out of touch with that it was a person that was draining me to the point where i lost myself i lost the things that i love i became a very negative person it was like an energy vampire draining me of my life completely and there are people out there like that it took a couple of years for me to understand that but once i got to the point where it was like it it, it was hard to get to that point actually because it's like when you are I'm not comparing this to being in an abusing re relationship, uh, like when you're hitting a person, but in a sense, like a couple of percentage of that, um, because I was being mentally abused for many years. And you know, it starts very small and then it builds up. And then so like if this person would have done the things that they did at the end, but like in the beginning, I would have been like, get out of my life. I had to build up a lot of energy and courage and strength to break up with this person. Once I did, I was like, everything is coming back to me now. Ideas, 
inspiration, creativity. I was on the verge of quitting nails entirely because of this person. I, I lost all my passion. I didn't know what I lived to do. Like, what was my purpose? They drained me so much that, yeah, I was gonna quit. I was actually going to quit. I was like this close to quitting and just giving everything up. But it was not me. It was not me doing that. It was that person. So once I cut that cord, everything came back. And I was bombed with inspiration and ideas. One day, evening was it. I don't know how to explain it, but it was like I was watching a movie in my head and I was being fed with this image of this. I started to get words and a concept. I started to write everything down like super duper fast. I was just writing and writing and writing and writing and everything came to me within, I would say a couple of minutes. And I had it so clear in my mind. I looked at it afterwards. I couldn't even believe what happened. <laughs> I know this sounds so weird, but I'm telling you the truth. This is what happened. I called a friend and I was like, I have this amazing idea. I need to do this. I, I don't care what it's gonna cost. I don't care how long it's gonna take. I think that I am meant to do this. And I know, I know. It sounds so, so stupid because it's like, it's just a product, it's just a book, it's just a card deck. But in that moment, it felt just like it was something bigger. For me, it was so amazing. It was like, almost like, you know, a gift uh, from the universe because I managed to break free from this awful situation that I have been stuck in for years before that. So I was so happy about this. I started to work on it right away. So this was in early 2020. 2020 November, I opened up uh, my web shop again. So I had so much to think about like of when, when it comes to the shop and everything. So it was taking a lot of time. During that time, I was still working on the project, you know, writing two books basically, and then designing a full card deck. It takes time and especially when you want to do it correctly and perfectly because I am a perfectionist so it has to be perfect. I would say around the same time when I op reopened the shop, I started to see something really amazing on TikTok and social media in general. Have you seen this when people have like two notes and they write like uh, short on one and long on one and then the client chooses but they like blindfolded, they, they don't know what they're choosing so it's like dark or light or pink or red or um, pumpkins or witches and then they put a set together and that is exactly exactly what this was but I had the idea um, almost a year prior to that and that made me so much more excited because I felt like there's like a demand for this people really need this they're gonna want it so i was so excited and i kept on working well actually from the vlogs we have done a couple of sneak peeks but you didn't know it back then when i was drawing on my ipad that was the card deck so it was i was hand drawing the cards so that's the thing the cards are hand drawn by me on my I ipad the other thing that is so special to me with this project is that i did this together with my mom she has been a layout designer for like her entire life. She is uh, retired now, but this has been our project. So I have been designing everything. I have been writing all the text, been designing, like I have decided uh, what materials to use and, and um, like the, the, well, the design of everything. But then she is like the person who puts everything together in the correct programs and uh, for printing and all that, because that is something that I wouldn't have known how to do, but she has done this many, many, many times. So she helped me with that. And so I have done this. This is like, well, I did this together with my mom and that feels very special. Just like, you know, the, the glitters that my mom is involved in the glitters. She's also <laughs> involved in this project. So I just feel like, this project has so much good energy in it. I feel like it was given to me by the universe and it was given to me for so many reasons, but like personally for me, but also for you because it is tools for you to help growing and evolve yourself to become a better, um, just creative 
artist in general. I'm so excited to see you guys start using these. Just have them in your life because it is all about helping you. I just want to help you. I want you to have fun. I want you to be passionate. Let's uh, start going through the, the different um, products. Hopefully you're gonna like it. First off, we have the nail planner and it says finding the balance between work and self-care. And this is something that I am really passionate about because I have always been that type of person and I know many of you are like this as well like we tend to work for everyone else and anything else but ourselves and especially as an tech, we put everyone else before ourselves so this is a planner where I'm gonna help you be that boss uh, business boss and really get the best out of your days <laughs> but uh, at the same time taking care of yourself because when you are working like this you need to schedule self-care and time for yourself for it to happen you are going to be so much more effective you're gonna have so much more fun you're gonna have so much more energy you're gonna enjoy life <laughs> now i'm selling this like crazy but this is how i feel about this product it is made to help you be organized but also taking care of yourself first off we have this elastic band i wanted to pay extra to have it there because i feel like we need it it's just makes it feel more like a journal or a planner this elastic band is great it is thick overall this book is so thick <laughs> it is heavy you don't even know like it is he like when you're holding it it's like this is a book and i love that you know when things are like sturdy heavy that's like a sign of it being uh, like high quality and oh my god this is super high quality this is premium everything about this book is premium so this cover right here is this beautiful light gray and you have that linen structure which i love i paid extra for that as well i also paid extra for this embossed gold uh, effect on nail planner you have it on the side as well and then you, i paid also extra to have this book and because i know you know you need it you need it of course and on the first page you have this beautiful wallpaper it is not designed by me but i picked it out <laughs> i just needed something fun something that will you know when you open this you feel happy i don't know the first part of the book is like welcome uh how to use this book you have planner example how to use it this is just my suggestions i mean you can you can use it in whatever way works best for you but this is like how i intended it to be uh used you're free to do whatever you like of course and then uh talking about the last pages where you find the monthly prep and reflection social media planner so we're going to talk about that and then a lot of artwork is actually mine uh you can see here you probably recognize this from the Cardiac and from the Stop the Nail Shaming campaign. So I put it in there. Then we have a page on self-care, uh, why it is important, tips on morning rituals, uh, meditation, journaling, stuff that I do uh, like or like to do in the morning. Uh, my favorite morning yoga poses. You have um, very, very easy. Everything is just sitting down or lying, laying down and in here you have a link uh, or like a website and a password to get to um, a closed platform where you have bonus assets so there you're gonna find videos with me where i guide you through like a morning stretch routine some stretches that you can do at work breathing exercises you're gonna have my get in the right mood playlist on uh, spotify with my favorite songs to get in the right mood and kind of pump yourself up in the morning and other fun things i'm gonna keep on working on this platform during the year and next year so i think it's it's just gonna keep growing with more content but yeah you have everything here in here as well but uh, especially like the guided morning uh, meditation kind of stretch thing if you want to do that then we have some breath work and this is something that you can do in between clients to get uh, your stress levels down it is very very effective and talking about mini breaks what you can do on a mini break in between clients super important what you can do at lunch things that will not take you a lot of time but are super important for you to feel healthier uh, in the long run we have chair yoga 
With a uh, post-it, you can do sitting down at a chair. You don't have to have a yoga mat at your um, salon because obviously that would be maybe not possible everywhere. And then we have some neck and uh, hand stretches, wrist stretches, super important. Some other tips and tricks. We have protect your energy, talking about, you know, energy vampires, because um, you tend to be pretty drained sometimes when you're sitting with the clients. We have also how to break up with a client. Uh, we have why you need to charge and how to charge and how to think when it comes to no-shows. And yeah, you're worth it, how to set your nail rates, how to earn more, how to build a clientele, and to con control your business. You have monthly expenses where you can put down your product and uh, like uh, service and then the cost. So you have a little bit of, like you can kind of see what things are gonna cost in the end. And then you have a price list where you put down your prices of your services and then you have expired dates because uh, you will have to update it at least uh, once per year, tw actually twice per year. Uh, then you have social media and we have how to grow on social media basically. My best tips and tricks. Then you have the social media planners or like showing you example how to use it, nail photography. And then we start with the planner itself. So every week starts with weekly prep. And in here you have questions like, well, you uh, enter your mood uh, for that week before it starts. So you wanna do this like Sunday evening maybe. And then important things that I need to do this week this week I want to focus more on, hmm, my goals for this, this week are uh, this week I want to practice on and then you fill that out. Then we have the planner like the week spread and here we have for every day you have morning routine to check it out if you do the morning routine. Uh, you have lunch and you have you can fill in um, um, amounts of breaks and then you have water, how many glasses of water you have taken during the day. If you have done your social media for the day or you can also cross it out for those days that you don't want to do it and then you have priorities and for the entire week you have weekly self-care so you fill in every single day what type of self-care you want to do for yourself every day it could be like call a friend take a walk uh, go to the gym eat a cake <laughs> not, maybe not a cake but eat um, something else uh, just something take a bath and then we have weekly goals and we have to do's and some notes and then after that week we have the weekly reflection so then we want to reflect on the week and you have your mood again three achievements that i'm extra proud of this week so we want to focus on something positive something that didn't go so well what can i do to make the next week even better and then last thing five things that i'm grateful uh, or thankful for this week and then it starts over for weekly prep so you start over that way you can see with your weekly spread because you filled out if you did your morning routine if you had breaks if you drank water and all that then you can look at your reflection and see hmm i did not have lunch like three out of five days i didn't do my morning routines i didn't do that and so on and that's why i'm feeling very low right now and then for the next week maybe you do morning routines four out of five days and uh, you drink more water, you have lunch and all that, and then you have a reflection of that week saying like, oh, I feel so much better. So this is a way for you to kind of see why you are feeling the way you are and just adjust your life to make you feel better. At the end of, well, the last part of the book, you have monthly goals and monthly reflections. So monthly goals, you have my top three goals for this month, this month I want to focus more on something I can do to make me happier this month, new techniques or skills that I want to learn or improve this month. This is how I like to feel this month. And then on the next page you have monthly reflections. So here you have the start of the month and this is the end of the month. So this made me step out of my comfort zone. I'm proud of myself for something I want to change or remove for next month. Things I learned this month and my overall mood for this month. So then you can kind of see how, you know, start of the month and end of the month and see kind of what happened and why. And then you have for that month, you also have your social media planner. 
and you have your supply shopping list and you have that for every single one you have about me at the end and then you have this beautiful wallpaper and that's it for the planner now let's move on to the design book so here you have the design book it is the same thing uh with this one it is super premium high quality you have the elastic band you have the book band you have the embossed gold here and on the side you have this beautiful color you have the linen structure and everything it says be created be you and you might recognize this from move there as well so it's kind of like my mantra uh, i want you to be creative and i want you to be you so on the first page we have another beautiful wallpaper and i love this so much love the colors i love the prints like i love everything about this so it's just something to make you a little bit happier maybe in the beginning of the book, you have a little bit of tips and tricks from me to improve your nail art. So it's how to use this book, talking about the nail cards and how to use them. We're going to go over them, of course, a little bit more. Then you have nail art tips, some general pointers, the brushes, products, and so on. Finding inspiration, uh, how to find inspiration in an image or fashion, nature, all that. Six ways to deal with nail art anxiety. How to kind of get through that creative block. And we have how to charge for nail art and how to make people do more na nail art. <laughs> because that is usually something that we need to work on. Like how do you sell it? Three ways to get faster at doing nails. So nail speed. And then we have a 30 day nail art challenge. So this is the one that I made for you. And here you can write in your own challenge. This is the first page of every nail shape. And as you can see here, you have these uh, colors here. Every section has a different color so that you can easily fl flip through the book and uh, see kind of which shape you are on. So it's just a very nice handy way to find your shape. For square, you have short, medium and long, so three different lengths, and you have a client page. This is kind of how I intended it to be used, but you can use it once again, like exactly how you want to use it. On this page, you write down your date, your client, and this is your design. You write down your inspiration, color and uh, mediums, you have techniques and notes. This is one client and this is one client. So whenever a client comes back and she says, or like a new client, and she points at uh, an image, uh, an Instagram picture saying like, you did this three months ago, I want to have the exact same thing. You have no clue what you did, no idea what colors you, <laughs> you used. Then you can find it in here and you can recreate it. On this page, you can just, I call this scribble pages and like the design or client page. On the scribble pages, you can do like examples of different designs, like one theme, but different examples. And then you can transfer it over here. Or if you just want to use this as like whatever examples you want to have. So it doesn't have to be correlated to this even. I mean, you can use it as, you know, as you want. You have different lengths. When they are a little bit longer, then this is like one page. So when the nails are longer, you have one page with your notes and everything so that you can fit it better. And then you have different shapes. We have square, then we have ballerina, we have oval, and we have pointy and stiletto. At the end, we have this beautiful little wallpaper again, and that's it. You can use this as your own Bible. You don't have to show it to anyone if you don't want to. Or you can sit down with your clients and design as you are talking and going through pictures, whatnot. You can put this on your in your waiting area for your clients to look through it and be inspired so that when they come to your table, you can start working right away because they already had, you know, a fun idea that you already designed for them. You can pre-design a, a specific design for a specific client uh, so you have it finished when she comes to the table. Or if you just want to keep it for yourself, not show anyone, this is like your design bible, secret stuff, you can do that as well. But it goes hand in hand with the card deck. So, of course, you can use this on your own but it gets even better when you have the card deck. This is such a special product for me because as you know, I am a junkie when it comes to tarot and oracle cards. I have a collection of, 
I counted them, but I think it was like 70 something. I don't remember. I know I told you sometime, but I have so many tarot cards. I am a collector of tarot and oracle cards. They have been such a huge part of my life. And I have always dreamt of creating um, an oracle card deck myself. But it was like, well, I'm not in that industry. So uh, that's probably not going to happen. But then when I had this idea, I was like, oh my god, of course, I'm gonna do like nail tarot. I'm gonna do cards for nails and it's gonna be amazing. As mentioned, this is something that I started to think about. Beginning of 2020, I saw people doing this like nine months later on social media. I got super excited because then it was like, okay, I'm working on something that people seem to want to have then i finished everything spring 2022 then we started to well i started to look at a manufacturer like a, a factory that could do this i started to uh, get samples and i'm so happy with the result they're beautiful the thing that i really really wanted was to have like the premium feeling once again so this is super premium it has that magnet lock i don't know what it is about magnets but like when you have a mag magnet lock like this it's like it feels just so premium and it is on the front you have my hand you know from the stop the nail shaming campaign but i felt like it is my signature now so i just well it goes i mean it was like it was meant for this card deck and then on the side you have the create magic every day is also something that i designed uh many years ago i did it for the merch actually same thing here it's a design that i had laying around uh in my ipad for a very long time and it was like oh my god it feels it fits so well in here because i was i was gonna do like a, a t-shirt with this but it was like okay i'm gonna do this and on the back you have me and how to uh well how it works and, and all that so you open it up and you have a little design in here i really wanted to have this dark color in here so when you open it up it's a little bit darker than the outside so i really love that and then you have the cards and in here you have also a little text uh with some hashtags that i would love for you to use if you use this because i want to share the crap out of your work <laughs> It's gonna be so much fun to see what you do. In here, you have a card with explanation on how to use it. Basically, it's like, do whatever you want. It's, you know, the phrase that we kind of feel. Sometimes it's super fun, but sometimes it's like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? So you know when you sit with a client and they go like, oh my God, do whatever you want. And they are super excited to see what you're gonna come up with. And you're like, kill me now. This is perfect for that. Like for those days when you don't have any inspiration, just pull this thing up and you will be fine so you can do this together with your client right at the table or if you do it at home prepare in advance put it down in your nail art book and then you are ready for the week so yeah and even if you don't have clients maybe you're just doing nails on yourself i mean how fun is this just sit down and get inspired but this is not just a deck that's going to tell you what to do it's a tool for you to practice your thought process and creative thought process uh, so what i have when i have a client that says do whatever you want the first thing i do is that i ask okay what shape okay so we did decide the shape do we have some inspirational words is it dark is it light are you happy are you sad it's gonna be goth is it gonna be cotton candy i need inspirational words to get my thought process going after that i ask okay color palette what kind of colors do you want to have it's gonna be glitter it's gonna be uh, like solid colors do you want to have matte shiny but it is just like deciding the color palette next thing i ask okay so if i am going to do nail art what type of nail art it's going to be flamingos or are we going to do like hippie boho style and then the last thing that i ask is if i can add one met metal accent like studs metal stripes foil uh crystals maybe or just like a metallic gel paint. Do you want to have silver gold or rose gold? So this is what I ask my clients and that is what you have here in this stick. So it is my thought process on how I create a set from scratch to a client when they have no idea what they want to do and I don't know what I want to do, but I'm trying to figure it out. First section, we have 
lots of different designs and these are as mentioned designed by me so i have done all of these designs in my ipad the thing with these is that you don't have to be like okay so seriously you, you think that i'm gonna paint all this on a nail no it's not like that it's just that you can take inspiration from this you can take the smallest little piece you can take those little tiny stars and you can do something with that or just inspiration like okay dragonflies can it do something more like do i only maybe want to do one of these uh wings or want to do half of it you can take pieces of a wing and like just the pattern itself up here if you want to go all in and do details you can do that or if you just want to get inspired by the feeling of the card then you do that you know as mentioned it's not like i'm giving you blue and then like okay you're gonna do blue or i'm giving you a, a specific pattern like okay dots and then you have to do dots in blue. It's not like that. It's it's more advanced like that, but it's not like advanced in the way that like you can't do it because it's so advanced. It's just, it's another way of helping you to grow. It's a tool, it's a practice tool, and it's also a lot of fun. Then we have these um, color uh, palettes and I have worked them out myself. They're super pretty. There's definitely a thought behind this. So it's not like just random picked colors. Uh, I have put this together because these colors are amazing. If you don't have these exact colors, don't worry. Uh, you can usually, I mean, you can mix mix colors yourself to get these colors, but you don't have to use all of these. You can use one, you can use two, you can use all of them, but you can pick and choose from these colors or just get inspired by it. It doesn't have to be exactly this. Just to get your thought juices going. Then after that, we have lots of word cards. This is what I was talking about, you know, when I'm asking my clients, like, give me some words. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you dark? Are you light? Are you wedding? Are you cute? Uh, so here we have lots of those. So you have like cartoon, enchanted, magical, cotton candy, stars. Uh, you have crystals, expensive, sparkle, jewelry, Dubai. These are just words to help you get going. Same thing here. You don't have to use all these words. You can use one, you can use two uh, together with the rest of the cards. But once again, you use it exactly as you wish. It's just to help to get you started. Then we have the last, well, not the last section. We actually have two sections. Shape cards, and we have four different shapes. So square, oval, ballerina, and um, stiletto, or like almond stiletto. Same thing here. If you have a client who always wears square, then you don't have to pull this card. Like you know that they're gonna want square, so you can leave that. But if you want to be a little bit more daring, then put a shape card in there and see what you get. And then the last part is the gold, silver, and rose gold accent. Once again, this is optional. You don't have to pull a card from this, but uh, I feel like it helps because you can add that little pop to the design uh, with some metallic of some kind. You know, as I've said several times now, you don't have to pull a card from each section every single time. Maybe you you just want to pull cards, uh, a card with inspirational words, and that's it. Maybe you just want to have some design ideas together with the metallic cards. You do that. I mean, you can pull three cards, you can do five cards, you can do one card, you can do four and so on. So, I mean, you can do multiple even. Like if you want to have two design cards, you do that. It's really up to you. you go, you're gonna have so much fun with this. I know it. I've already had so much fun with this. And when I've been showing my family members and friends, they have loved it. It is so much fun. I'm so, it, it's just as excited like every single time I use this. And I'm so excited to show people. Together with the nail design book, you have a perfect set. These will be released on November 1st and we also have distributors who will be carrying uh, these products. So I will put all of that in the uh, description box below. So link to our distributors and also link to the shop. There's a limited amount of the books. So if you want it, you need to grab it fast. Uh, we're gonna release them at noon on um, November 1st. Swedish time so you might want to uh, stick around on the website for that if you really want them but I think that was that was it I have been talking a lot I made it very impressed if you have watched all the way here I've tried to make it as compact as I can but there's so much that I need to tell you so it is what it is so happy about these products I can't be more proud my 
biggest wish is that you are gonna love them just as much as I do and that they are gonna help you. I want these products to be your best friend at work, helping you uh, to become a boss, but also telling you to take care of yourself. Have these products helping you to come up with something creative when you feel like I have no creativity left, I'm so tired. I want to help you, I want to be that helping hand. These are like my little arms stretching out all across the world and so I can help you all at the same time. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let's chat in the comment section. We'd love to hear what you think about this and if you have any suggestions on future pro projects or products maybe, that would be amazing as well. Love you guys so much, um, wishing you a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!